Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a third person player controller. The player object should have rigid body and 3D collider components. You should also have a Cinemachine package installed and up to date in your package manager. Let's start by creating player script. First, let's add the variables like speed and jump force. After that, let's add the ground checking variables. Ground check is the object which detects if there is jumpable ground near it. Layer mask detects if the ground is in a specific layer. Check distance is just a distance there should be ground to be able to jump. Player mesh is the mesh that will be rotated to the movement direction. Can jump tells the script if player is grounded and can jump. Let's add fixed update function. Inside the function, let's lock the cursor inside the game. To move our player, we need we are going to use rigid body, so let's get the component inside a local variable. We need to get both vertical and horizontal inputs to move the player. Another thing we need to move the player is the direction forward and right from the main camera. To get them, let's store them to vector tree local variables. Let's also set the y of the right directions to zero and normalize them. Before we can move our player, we need to calculate the direction the player is moving. Let's calculate it with vector tree. After calculating the direction, we finally can move the player using rigid body velocity. To have the gravity applied to the player, we need to set the y velocity to rigid body velocity y. Now, to rotate the player mesh, we are going to make an if statement. In the if statement, we are going to check if move direction isn't zero. And to rotate the player mesh, we are going to use quaternion loop rotation. Input some values to speed variables and assign the player mesh. The player moves. Let's add the jump ability next. Let's add a new update function. To check if the player can jump, we are going to use physics.checksphere. After that, we are going to add an if statement, which checks if can jump is true and a jump button is pressed. Inside that if statement, we are going to add a rigid body velocity force to a vector tree up direction. To 
make the check distance debugging easier, let's add a simple ondra gizmos function. If you get an error message on the console, the debugging works. Next make a new blank game object and set it on just under the player object. Now assign that to the player script as ground checks. Then add a new layer, which the player can jump on. Don't use the same layer as the player is in, because the player can then jump on the air. Let's test it out. And as you can see, the player can jump and move. The only problem is that the camera doesn't move. Let's change that. Create a new Cinemachine free loop camera. Set the follow and look at target to the player object. You can tweak other settings to your liking. Let's test it out. And it works. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if it helped you. And subscribe for more content like this.